Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today, I am starting out by recording a 920, 1920 by 1080. We're gonna see how it works. Hopefully everything's going good, but if there's a small little glitches, maybe in the sound or the, um, the recording, or maybe it's a little fuzzy at times, that is why. Um, usually I'll record at 1080 or 10, 12, 12, 20, 1280, 1270, 1280. 1280 by 720, I believe it is. I don't know all the resolutions. Anyway, guys, today we are going to be taking on Dr. T with one boat of warriors. We're going to see how far we can get with only one boat of warriors. So I do have all eight boats trained up. Um, that is just because if I do lose warriors in one boat, I'm not going to retrain them. I'm just going to go to a different boat, but I could only use one boat of warriors. So we're going to drop that one boat of warriors. So we only have eight warriors, which is super fun. Um, if you guys are wondering what Clash of Royale is, I'm more focused on Boom Beach at the moment. I am, um, I can't really find a winning strategy in Clash Royale and there's really no point in you watching videos where I fail in Clash Royale. Um, here we go. We're moving on to stage number two. These first couple stages are going to be pretty easy. I'm hoping to beat stage six. Now, some of you, uh, no, wait, no, stage five. I'm hoping to beat stage five. Um, I don't know if I will be able to. Most, It's it's mostly just going to be gumbo energy. Uh, there is a strategy behind it, though, so we're going to see how well that works. We're going to drop our one boat, drop a bunch of barrages, basically destroying everything on the map, everything on the map. Uh, okay, we're gonna drop a barrage over there. I know the barrage is way too expensive. It cost me 40 for another barrage. Like, what the heck, Boom Beach? What the heck? Um, I think over time, you should get Gumbo Energy. Um, I know that may seem a little, like, why would you want to do that? That's just encouraging Scorcher gameplay and tank gameplay. But you know what? If you're on a base and just taking it down and there's nothing hitting you, I think over time you should gain back energy. Um, so you get energy from destroying buildings. You get three energy. And then maybe, like, every 10 seconds you get one extra energy. You know what? That'd just be a nice little feature. I don't know if that would be implemented or not. I doubt, uh, yeah, it, it probably won't be implement, int implemented, um, but there is a statue here. Now, I forgot if we can destroy the statue. I believe we can. Yep, we can, which is kind of cool. It, like, blows. It doesn't blow up. It just falls down, so that's super cool. Um, this next Boom Beach update, guys, is going to be super awesome, I believe. I believe this next super, this next Boom Beach update will be pretty fun. Um, it, it's going to be, I hope, I hope it's going to be fun. And I dropped all my freaking warriors. I do not. I was. <laughs> there were some people probably yelling at me in the comments. I'm just too like. I, I know the game too much. So I just do stuff mindlessly. I'm like a zombie. Boom Beach has. Supercell has entrapped me into their curls. And they're like starting to eat me now. I could only drop one boat. Maybe I should have only had one boat. <laughs> that would have probably been better. And what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm trying to destroy every single building with Gumbo Energy. No, we don't want to do that. Um, I got a good... I got, like, tomorrow, guys, is going to be a super special episode of Boom Beach. It's going to be a little different. Um, hopefully, it comes out tomorrow. Hopefully. Um, okay, here we go. We're going to flare to that. We're going to drop our one boat. Yeah, I'm hoping I'll be able to get it out tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done in time. It's actually not that bad, or it's not that... Uh, it's not that intense of a video. I just have to do all the research to it uh, because you're probably like, research, what? Do you have to research a video? And I'm like, yeah, there's something I want to try doing. Um, it's going to be coming out in, hopefully tomorrow for you guys if I am actually motivated to get it done. Uh, we are going to drop a bunch of critters just because we really have no firepower here. And hopefully we would be able, I don't think we're going to beat this. <laughs> To be 100% honest with you, I don't think we are going to beat this at all. Um, okay, we might be able to do this. It's it's a little over halfway. We still have all of our warriors. If we don't do it, I'm going to be dropping more boats. I'm not going to retreat it one more time. Um, so we're going to see how this goes. I do want to do the seven boat challenge. So that means on stage four, I get four boats. But not today. That's a different day. We were able to beat it. I am very surprised, and I seriously doubt we're going to be able to defeat Dr. T stage number 5, so I guess we'll find out. And then I think we'll go on to an NPC base, 
and see if there's an NPC base on our map that we could take out with one boat. I know that corner base, I think we would be able to take that out with one boat. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm laughing inside. The only way we're going to be able to beat this is if I could take out all the defenses surrounding it, all the defenses hitting the HQ, which I cannot do, and then put in my one boat of warriors. So we're going to try it. I just don't want people to be like, okay, you could have at least tried it because that always happens, even though it's pretty much... It's over. It's over. Guys, it's it's over. <laughs> it's over. Okay, here we go. Um, That shock launcher should be out of... Wrong. What should I do? Should I go from the right side? Well, if I go from the... Yeah, I think I'll go from the right side. But there are those boom cannons. Okay. We're going to drop... Oh, that was the wrong boat. Dang it. Okay, we got four in there, and we are just going to drop one more boat. I know it's not quite all eight, but honestly, guys, those troops all died before my new troops came in. So, deal with it, I guess. I don't know. Um, okay, we're going to... I feel like I'm wasting more energy on shocks than I can or than I would spend on if I were to actually take them out with combo energy. Like, look how much energy I'm spending on shocks. I'm spending so much energy on shocks. We're going to drop... a ton of critters and they're gonna get cleaned by this flame and the machine gun maybe i should not have done that yeah i probably should not have done that but anyway guys all of our words are pretty much dead we have one more he's standing right there and we're gonna okay we couldn't even get the medicate down so that was a gg it was kind of pointless to attack it because i knew i would i knew i would fail i knew it was gonna be a failure we are just going to keep training up these, but we are not going to jump them up. Drastic destruction, we might be able to do. Nope, that's a different base. I was thinking of something else. Okay, blast furnace. Corner office. Okay, we're going to try corner office with one boat of warriors. It's the one boat challenge. Okay, we're going to take, we need to take down that shock launcher. We need to take down, um, we'll drop a barrage here to take down the mines. Um, and... We'll drop that, and we'll drop that, and then we'll drop one critter box, because we don't want to lose any, because I believe it will take a little while, and we do want to save some energy for med kits. Okay, I like only having one boat on this. You have no idea how much easier it makes it. I hate these, um, what you want to call it, 45 degree landing zones. I guess you could call it that if you want. It, it doesn't seem, huh, like... What do I mean by 45 degree? It, it's like a straight line, actually. So it's more like, no, I wouldn't say that's a straight line. Like, it, it looks straight to you, but technically it's like curved. Okay, what am I doing? Go, go, go. Dang it. Okay, we lost a lot. We lost a lot. We're wasting so much energy on shocks. I mean, uh, med kits. I'm sorry. Uh, we need to hell. Oh my gosh. I was not thinking those machine guns would do so much damage to my warriors. I mean, I could do a reflare. Are the shock launchers out of range? No, they were just reflaring. Okay, um, but now they're closer to that one, which makes it easier for that one to hit me. Uh, the warriors need to be buffed. Like, honestly, every other troop in Boom Beach is so good. And some of you guys might disagree with me. That one warrior is staying alive. So a lot of you guys will disagree with me. A lot of you guys will say warriors are so not. They, like, why would they buff them? Um... But I feel like the Warriors have something other troops don't because they're like a, they're kind of separate from all the other troops. All the other troops you flare and smoke. I guess AZ you don't do uh, you do the same, um, but like it, it's just different and they heal up with every pound. So I feel like the healing up should be buffed. Um, but if you look back, like none of the top guys will be using the, uh, this strategy. Like if you go into like even like this. This guy is pretty high, 1280, or, yeah, yeah, 1288. This guy is, you don't see anyone up this high using warriors. Like, the, high, the highest I've seen is, like, 1200 using warriors. And probably, like, recently, not, like, in the past, because I know Ting was a big warrior player. So, it's just like, okay, they need to fix that. They need to do that. They need to fix it, okay? Uh, they need to buff up the warriors, that's just my opinion, guys. A lot of you guys will disagree with me because a lot of you guys are lower level. And lower level, guys, so many people, uh, they you get attacked by warriors all the time with lower level. Like, where is this? I think every upgrade, it increases the, where is it, health? 
Where, wait, what the heck? They heal up with every hit. Yeah, self-heal per hit. Does that increase with every hit? I don't know if that increases with every hit. It probably does, actually. Um, because the hit points increase, so that probably means that that's going to increase. Also, but we are going to be doing one full warrior attack. So we are going to gym up our troops, and we are going to find one player base and just attack him. A higher level player base. This guy's a shield generator. I'm not taking out a shield generator when I'm not boosted. Um, I could do it when I'm boosted. I don't know if I can do it now. Okay, we're going to we're gonna try this guy. I believe we're going to be able to do it. And here's why. There's not many mines leading up to it. Actually, there's quite a few mines leading up to it. He's trying to hide mines. <laughs> this is the type of player I like. What the heck? That that guy was standing right next to that boom mine. So we're going to take down two. We're going to leave the others. I'm going to place one barrage on that. And the reason I'm attacking this base, it does have boosted up health or boosted up HP. But you know what? That doesn't phase me. You think that phases me? No. No way. Um, I'll probably lose. No, I'm going to win, guys. I'm going to beat this base. You know why? Because I'm pro. I'm not that pro, though. Um, I'm not really used to taking down bases of boosted health because I've been so low. So I've been so low for so long, guys. Probably my entire life. Okay, we're going to drop our shocks. That one shock launcher is out of business. So we will hopefully be able to do that. We were able to save one shock. This was easy, bro. That was a lot easier than I expected. We owned that base. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like. As always, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. No, not yet. We're going to look and see our loot. Oh, that's some good loot, guys. The crystal, the marshmallow stick. Everything's just adding up. Oh, we also got a supply chest, which I feel like should be buffed also because you know what? The supply chests are so weak. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.